Hello and welcome to my new Houdini to Unreal Engine tutorial. Recently subscriber asked me how I made the landscape for the scene and so this is what I'm going to explain. So let's get started. Here I have a landscape and I copied twice on the back on the background to to fill the gaps for artistic purposes, but even without that the landscape is very big. It's 8 by 8 kilometers size piece of uh, Swiss Swiss mountains. So let's see how I did that. But before we get started, first I want to say that I learned the basic techniques from this awesome tutorial series from Andini. He explains in great details how to how to get data, made make masks and material and everything. Uh, but why I just didn't send my subscriber to this tutorial series and instead making my own. Um, the two big differences. He works with one chunk of information, so the later data from one piece. And I work with multiple pieces and it, it is it's it, it has differences. Uh, also he doesn't have snow here and I do and so I will show uh, I will show how I did it too and blurring slopes and so so yeah there are differences that's why I decided that I will create um, prob probably two m my own tutorials but I will be very brief only showing the, um, the fast process without getting into too many details but if you want just that then I highly recommend this series so I decided to to, to make to use Switzerland as the base uh, because of because the the Hull Moon Castle looks like it takes place in Switzerland. So I went and look if I can find actual later data of Switzerland. And there is a website, this one, that actually has it. So models and applications, height models, Swiss LT 3D. And here you can see the information about this the part of the Switzerland that was later scanned. And knowing this, I decided to go to Google Maps to find actual location that I want. How do I do this? So I m made a globe view and satellite. And after this was shift, I could move the world to see 3D view. And I found this valley at Le Diablerets Mountains to be actually what I what I what I really want. So I went here and I found this location mm, right here and I decided to take to make 8 by 8 kilometers landscape and so how do you select my 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 area so select selection by polygon Okay, selection by polygon, and then new polygon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back, and we're done. And then I can go and press search. And I also uh, didn't change resolution. I would recommend to use resolution two meters, because otherwise it would be just too dense and file sizes would be enormous. Uh, so press search again and hopefully it will work. Download the size because there are too many files for them to to just just give you the links so they offer to save them as a file. Let's see. Yeah, okay, th it does show two, number two, so so it did change uh, change resolution. So now we have our list of 64 files that we're interested in. And now it's a question of just selecting each link and then loading the file from this link. And so in the end, you'll have 64 TIFF files, just like I have here. The thing is that, ah, and I also made a screenshot of, of this area uh, and numbered numbered the squares so for future reference if something happens I can I can always come back and see what I downloaded 
Um, so the files actually come in groups, like you can see by the numbers that uh, the strip of eight files, strip of eight files has 75 in the end, then 76. So they, they go like this horizontally. And so I knew that I knew at least the order of the files. And then after this, let's jump into Houdini and see what's going on here. So first, what we need to do is get a height field file node. And here we will upload our, our height field. And it's done. It's here. Uh, so Undini stops, kind of stops right here because he has just one file. And that's why I decided to, to record this because I'll explain how to assemble this. Uh, one more thing, if this file doesn't open and shows you an error, that might be the case if the files has too big of resolution and your Houdini settings are not yet supporting it. So how to change it? Go to Edit, Preferences, Compositing, and Cooking. And then you'll have resolution limit. Default is 10,000. So I changed it to 20 and it just, and it worked. Uh, so, okay, we got our file. This is just an example. What I did, I downloaded files in uh, strips of four. So one, two, three, four, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I kind of scale it down to, 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 to make this, the whole situation more manageable. So I would download first four files and let's see how I came about uh, working with them. So I'll show you an example of two files. So I brought them together and I added merge node and you can see that they're occupying the same space. Now what we can do is actually moved one of them and I'm moving the first one with height field transform node. And we can see that if we do translate 1000, it moves to the to appropriate location. And while they're all kilometer by kilometer, so, so thousand by thousand meters units, uh, it, it will work like this. And so I ended up making a strip of four files. Each one of them is moved. One is 3000, then 2000, 1000, and the last one is not moved. And so here we have our first strip. Then I made the second one, so, and so on. So I ended up making four, four first strips, like one corner of my map, and I moved each one of them 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. And so in the end, we have the first quarter of our landscape. And then I applied um, transform for them. And I moved them this time, it was 500 because, you know, each file is each thousand files, thousand meters chunk starts from the zero. So in order to move them to, 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 to make them occupy the corner, uh, I would need to move them uh, by 500. So then I did exactly copied the same and just replaced the files. And now I have my half of my landscape. And then I did the same with the second half. I, I merged it and then I moved it by 4,000 meters. And then in the end, I have my my whole landscape all stitched together. And here is uh, our next step is to project the chunks of data onto the height field. So we create a height field node 8000 by 8000 and use the node height field project. And we need to wait for a few moments for it to compile. Okay, and it's done. And now we have our landscape projected on one plane, as you can see, and it's ready to go. But one more thing that I that I need to mention here, as you can see, each of my landscapes, the size is not a thousand, it's a thousand and two. The reason is, I guess it's the, it's the, just the way how TIFF files work. They have like a, this one pixel margin or like dark data. I don't know exactly the technicalities of this, but I found out initially that when I projected my information 
onto the plane, this pixels cost, and I'll show you in a moment when it cooked, this pixels cost this effect when the the very the very the very sides of the of the of each chunk would have like this dark strip and will go down to zero. And to I tried several methods to fix it and I found out that the best way is to just increase the size of our height field instead of thousand, increase it by a meter on each end, we each side, and then we come back to so we do a thousand and two and it expands each chunk just a tiny little bit and fix this gap. And thus after we make a projection it just it it's it, it looks it looks good. So let's wait for another moment for it to cook. And we'll and we'll continue. Okay, now we have our, our perfect landscape without gaps. Okay, um, now the next thing that I wanted to fix is this stretchiness of the sharpest slopes, which you can see doesn't look good at all. So what did I do? I made a, I applied the node, which is called height field, height field mask by feature, and I selected only the sharpest slopes, 70 to 90 degrees, and you can see the settings of the of the ramp. Uh, after that, I expanded the selection a little bit. So I used height field blur node and I used method expand instead of blur. So you can see the settings to make selection a bit bigger. And then I blurred the edges of selection with uh, again height field blurred mask, uh, height field blurred um, mask uh, node like this. And after that, I used height field blur, not height field mask blur, but height field blur node. Okay, actually, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same node. No, um, never mind. So, uh, and I fed my mask into into this one, so we would only blur the the sharpest slopes. And as you can see, I'm sorry, my cat. So as you can see, it's it's it looks much much better when it's when this is fixed. Uh, and now we need uh, only thing that we need to do really is to adjust our landscape to the size that is appropriate for uh, for Unreal Engine. How do we do this? So Unreal Engine has the special page, Landscape Technical Guide, where they show the recommended sizes for the landscape. So. I decided to go with this one, not the biggest one. So we need to tr turn our 8,000 um, meters landscape into 4033 size square. How we do this? We do again height field project, but we we do have some changes in height field node, and I'll show it in a minute when it's when it's um, baked. So height field project um, settings are the same. Max ray distance is 4,000 because I know that the, the the mountain range is higher than 3,000 meters. And so this is the height field settings. So we do grid samples 4033 as our needed size. And then our actual size is 8,000 by 8,000. And now it's projected. And after this, I do file cache. Uh, it's, it's, only, it's only reasonable for for future work with uh, landscape layers. And from here, we go to height field remap. Why do we do need, how do we do remap? So height field remap node. Uh, first, nothing happens, but we need to compute range and it shows the min and max of our landscape. And then we turn it output mean to zero and output max to, oh, sorry, one because we need to have black and white file coming going from, from zero to one. So that's exactly what I did here. And after that, it's height field output node uh, with this setting. So it shows that it will take the name of the node. So liter height, single channel format type 16 bit fixed, and we choose a channel height. And that's it, we save it to disk. And after that, we will have this file, file like that, with uh, 
black 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 areas being the lowest and white areas being the the, the highest and you can see that it's 4033 by 4033 uh, okay then now let's let's move back to unreal engine start a new start a new level and import our landscape uh, we'll go to landscape mode import from file leader height here it it does already we can start over from the very beginning so leader height it does recognize the size of our landscape now what we need to do is to are you, uh, it's a second time I'm recording uh, so so that's why it was the old settings were here now what we need to do the last thing to do is to make correct scale in here so how do we how we do go about that so our landscape I'm sorry, cat has been annoying. Our landscape is eight eight thousand meters, but our size file size is four thousand meters. So we need to to enlarge our landscape to be actual eight kilometers instead of four. So how do we do that? We take our eight kilometers, divided by forty thirty three, and multiply it by hundred. So now we have one ninety eight is the size of our scale of our landscape we put it in here and it it adjusts for y as well so now we need to figure out the z scale and for this uh, unreal has instruction as well in the same in the same file the same uh, guide so they saying that first you need to do is you need to take the height of your landscape multiplied by a hundred to convert to, to centimeters and then multiplied by their ratio and they explain the case the thing about ratio right here so let's do just that we know that our landscape doesn't start doesn't start from zero doesn't start from a sea level and we know that it starts from uh, from 1100 and it ends at 3200 meters so let's find the actual height of our landscape well copy this fluffy no I'm so sorry um, then we copy this and subtract one from another and so 2100 meters is our actual height of our landscape and so not, now let's do what what the guide says to do multiply by 100 and then multiply by this ratio number so first multiply by 100 and now multiply by this number and 412 is the scale of our landscape let's put it in and you can see that the height increased and let's press import and give it a minute to think and this is our landscape imported as you can see pretty vast we can move it higher so it will be um, so it will it will work together with exponential height fog nicely but anyways um, this is this was the the goal of this tutorial to to create the first stage of the landscape work to create a height map from real world leader data from Switzerland and especially um, when we have to work with with chunks so uh, the next next time we'll talk about creating the landscape layers and importing them into Unreal Engine um, that's it for today thank you and good luck